we shoot some photos today. Yeah. Couple photos, yeah? With yeah. Canon 250D and Sigma Art 50mm 1.4. This is a very nice alley with trees, with some flowers in uh, both sides. She will uh, hold this, I don't know how it's calling in English. Maybe I will show you how I edit this photo. This photo is what I do with a Canon 250D. And she will holding this and then after effects with a generative AI, I will uh, put to create some flowers here. Okay, Fiona. Yeah? She wanna climbing in one tree. I will use first time the Sigma 50mm 1.4 and then I will use the 200 millimeters on uh, 250D. Let's do some nice photos. Okay, let's start. It's a little windy today and uh, I hope uh, the sound will be good. Okay, work. Okay, stop. Can I, I think I have it? something, yeah? Ooh. Ooh, so nice is this. Yeah, this is super. I think I got one amazing, what I really like. Okay, I changed the lens now with a 200 millimeter 1.4, uh, 2.8, sorry. I love this lens because create a nice compression and a nice uh, blurry background. This 200 millimeters and the crop sensor is uh, 300 millimeters. Go, go more. Yeah. I shoot all the way to 200 millimeters, even if I must go more in the back. Go more, go more, Fiona. You have to go more. You see how uh, nice blurry background I have? And this is... Uh, okay, stop. It's good. Okay. You cannot see the sky anymore with this lens, like to the other lens. Uh, it's a very, very nice uh, lens for photography. I love to, to shoot with 200 millimeters. Go more, Fiona, go more. Yes. Because this is a long lens. More, more. She's very far now. More and I stay there and I go more in the back. Amazing, amazing. This one looks nice. I'm done. I have what I want. I go in the tree. Hi. Oh, it's cold. Hi, let's go home, or? Wait, just one climb and then I am done. What? Can you help me? To help you? You. Oh, hi. Oh, yo, yo. So, finish with the tree. Yeah, it was too cold. This microphone now. Is uh, staying here with one magnet. Have behind my cloth one little magnet, and it's so powerful. I don't think that will ever falling uh, falling down. And how is today? Cold. Fun, but cold. Yeah. Because the wind, and I can fly. You can fly. Yeah. <laughs> it's my daughter. She growing so fast. She is from the girl from the my movie, The Dream. She was little there. She had three years. Really? Three years? Three or four. I think four. They grow so fast. And you? She asked me how old I am. You know. I'm 40 years. In English, how is? 41. 41, yeah. 41, I don't know how to. I'm old. <laughs> Hello, you are young. So now I will edit the photos. See us in the Lightroom. Uh, sorry, I don't have a camera to filming myself, so I will only speak. Uh, Already I was chosen some um, some photos from the Sigma 50mm 1.4. This is the one what I like. Um, yeah, and uh, from the Tamron 70 to 200, these two are what I uh, like. I think I will use this. So the first one to edit will be this. Uh, what I like to do first. I bring the exposure because they are underexposed, but I think I, I will just choose to put a lot. And I like this, red and lift mate. I press this and uh, I working a little bit to adjusting the colors. Uh, from here you give, can give the intensity. And I will choose like 
I think 100 oh, is normal. Um, shadows a little bit up, luminosity. The white's a little bit down because it's lighting too much the face. Um, yeah, and I think it's not much to do to this uh, photo. I like so how it is. Maybe from here a little, like this. Now I go in Photoshop. Ah, not forgot to put some. What I put after? Yeah, okay. I go now in Photoshop, edit to send this picture in Photoshop. Will be open the Photoshop now, and there I will done uh, some adjustments, and I will make the photo how I like to be. Um, and I will show you, I will show you also some uh, tips to do this kind of photos here um, I won't get rid of this sky to be the only the trees the background I take this uh, lasso tool and uh, I create a mask like this and put generative fill just generate I don't read anything just generate and we'll be find out what uh, is the best of the Come on now. <clears throat> okay, let's see us what give us. Look what nice. How it's changing. Here gave me the three ver versions, but I chose this one because it's perfect. Okay, now what I have to do, it's um, what I like to do. I uh, merge these two uh, layers and I want a little bit expand this photo and I will do like this I think like this generate and let's see us to finish the expanding to generative fill expand here generative expand and then will be super fine look what uh all cool looking now i think i chose the first now i go to file i press save and will be come in lightroom already save it from from the photoshop okay now i have the this version from the photoshop in the same high quality how was before now let's do some adjustments a little bit like this, like this, shadow, uh, highlights a little bit down, I don't want to have too much highlights in the face, but this is a little bit vintage look, this photo. Now I will crop, I will crop to 4 by 3 because this is the aspect ratio what um, I like. Okay, now I go to create uh, a mask, a radial gradient, and I press like this. I create a mask like this, and I will see what I do with this. I give a little bit the atmosphere of this photo, uh, but I want to subtract the subject, and I press here subtract, and select subject, and will be selecting my uh, daughter to not be affected by this mask. Here I need to press to make subtract brush and I, I have here to make this away the mask. Okay, now go to the his and create like this a little bit foggy behind her. Uh, I go to the exposure, I bring a little bit up, I go to highlights a little bit up. A little bit the temperature uh, up maybe tint a little bit um, I go to the mask now I grab a little bit more high like this and I bring more exposure to be like a source of light from the Sun there like this to look I go to um, clarity a little bit down, texture a little bit down, the noise a little bit 
uh, up sharpness down to create a little bit more uh, more uh, washed out uh, background out of focus you can say clarity a little bit down and um, yeah sharpness a little bit down what I can put more some blacks up to create more like a keys okay back so I want now to give a little bit um, grain I like to have grain in my photos I press like 30 and the size same 30 and will be have a nice uh, grainy a like a film grain I forgot to get rid of this uh, microphone here so I go back and I send in Adobe Photoshop okay now to get rid of this uh, microphone I press like this I go to the last lasso tool I create a mask around and simple generative fill generate and will be total disappear and maybe some other elements like this little one from here I will get rid you see it's total it's it's gone and you chose from all three versions what is like the best I like this the best because give a little bit uh, detail here and I want to get rid of this the same and also you can look in other parts where you have more and you you press alt and get rid you and you can create another mask uh, I think this from here um, yeah put generate now yeah and now I how I said I want to put some flowers here inside go to the lasso tool and I just create so like a, a little mask like this generate fill and I read here white flowers and I put generate and to see now what give us look what nice I think this look the best and this will be make a world of, uh, of a difference check out without and with without and with without and with look what cool it's perfect Sh to show you something here what uh, what to do to this photo you can export like this if you want but what I like to do more to this photo to give a little bit uh, uh, like a dreamy look go to the layer duplicate the layer uh, go to the um, design here with effects to the levels go to the here chose increase contrast 3 uh, go here and make like this something similar will be look very ugly but you will see at the end what actually will uh, bring this and not forgot to press this little uh, um, sign this layer will not want to be affected only this layer from here and when you press this little icon with the um, this levels effect will be applied only for this layer so with this layer now we go to filter and push here convert for for small filters press ok we go to the blur Gaussian blur and we chose like a over 20 I like 23.5 press ok go to the with the, this layer selected go to the opacity go to the zero and now go up until you 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 like to see a little bit like um, um, a glow this create actually a glow a nice glow uh, if I take away you will see how was the original first time 
and how is with the effect give a little bit more contrast and more color and more uh, a nice uh, dreamy look a nice dreamy mood give a little bit the glow that opacity is too much i think even 50 like this without width without width okay press save and again we'll be save it in lightroom and we'll be ready to export actually i think i chose i chose the subject it's creating now for all the subject uh, a mask and i go to apply a little bit um, exposure over the subject to popping up more I create another mask a brush and I go to the her face and I make the highlights a little bit down because I'm not like really like this and let's look now go back to this mask a little bit more like this Okay, perfect and now I'm very happy with this photo I can give a little bit more vibrance and check out what a beautiful photo is now perfect this is ready to to be exported and to use for social media or for whatever you want it was cool to have like a dress white dress but was very cold and uh, now we not was ready to make a really nice photo shooting it was very cold and very windy yeah so these are my two photos what uh, what i what i did with them so thank you for watching and uh, i hope this video was helped you with some ideas for uh, color grading and uh, yeah See us in the next video. Ciao, guys.